I will see you there if I get the car done, uh, which is plenty of time to get the car done. I hope. <laughs> I just jinxed myself. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tax. Today is a continuation of yesterday's project. Yesterday, we just replaced the rear sway bar, um, and then we also basically took the whole front end apart to put the front sway bar in. But while I have everything ripped apart, I need to put some new bushings in so I can get the front back together. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. Just like most things, I haven't done this stuff before. So this will be a fun learning experience, if you will. I need to try and push these bushings out uh, with whatever tools I have and uh, get them in there. Cause I have a buddy coming back to help me today at about uh, 2.30 and then I've got somewhere to be at 5.30. So if I have everything prepped and ready for him to help me put the front end together, then it will go super quick, maybe less than an hour. So let's jump into figuring out the bushings and going from there. First, I need to set up a workbench. So let's do that. I think I have everything I think I need. So these are the bushings we need to replace. Uh, the dog bone, whatever these, the control arms or whatever they call. I have a, a joint separator, which uh, might help me remove them. Um, there's going to be a lot of jimmy rigging and figuring out. And then I also have a ball joint separator kit, which is obviously the one to use. So I'll be working on that, pushing out these bushings and then uh, vice if I need it. But let's jump into, whoo, which one, which one, which one? Let's do uh, this one first. But I know Humble Mechanic has a video about this. So let's put it up there and see how to do it. I tell you, uh, it's much easier to do how-to videos um, when someone has the same car as you, because then it's identical, obviously. So a big shout out to Humble Mechanic. I have taken the the dog bone engine mount out. You can see uh, these are the original ones. Uh, they are quite a bit smaller than the new ones. So a lot of wear and shrinkage on that. All I'm gonna do is clean up uh, the metal parts now and put it all back together. Um, <laughs> I've been watching Humble Mechanic for a long time and every time he said, I recommend you buy one of these or rent them, I did buy the correct tool for this. So that's perfect. I think I ordered this, I don't know, two months ago, three months ago. I don't know why I ordered it. There was a reason I ordered it. Today I know why I ordered it. <laughs> so uh, if you are working on fixing up your R32, be sure to check out Humble Mechanic. If you don't know who Humble Mechanic is and you have an R32, clearly you don't work on it. But anyways, uh, back to this. guys well everything's nice and clean got this all shiny got this basically shiny uh, the back side of here now to assemble pretty good uh, it is done so I'm gonna set this to the side and start working on these hopefully those go as smooth as this uh, 
and yeah I'm glad it worked out looks good and where I got stuck last was putting in new bushings I got these pressed in at a local shop uh, I need to see if they were done correctly um, before I start putting them in I fixed the dog bone here as well so let's jump into today's project figure out if I can get the front end back together and keep this project rolling I just confirmed uh, basically with the humble mechanics video that uh, the shop pushed the bushings in correctly the top side needs to be flush here these are obviously a bit different to humble mechanics but such is life so I think that's fine there um, they weren't able to get these ones out so hopefully I can it looks like you have to push them out this way fingers crossed I'm gonna work on that now and uh, see if I can win that battle a few moments later well I'm filming this to give you guys an update but I'm probably gonna jinx myself seems to be working with this setup here um, so <laughs> fingers crossed it continues to work let's check it out um, so that's all out I'll clean the inside I'm gonna do the other one quick I'm gonna do the other one quick I'm gonna do the other one quick and of course running into an issue uh, let me show you what the other bushing looks like so it is a uh, obviously a rubber bushing with the metal encasing the encasing is a bit rusted around here uh, I don't have a piece to push around the metal so I was just pushing the actual rubber piece this one's starting to separate but I need the metal casing to come out so I just sprayed some PB blast in there let it sit for a little um, yeah I don't know what else to do I need to at least maybe try to find a socket wide enough uh, just to push on the metal that should help so on to that project a few moments later look at what I have created one well, busted up bushing that only took a long time holy mac and cheese anyways <laughs> that is done so that's a plus that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put the front bushings in and then bolt all this back together and then see where we are going to start with the left side um, and see how it goes wish me luck everything back together except two uh, little subframe bolts and they couldn't line up so I needed to figure out what happened there and I ended up figuring out that uh, here's the new control arm which is thicker and here is the steering I don't know anyways where the steering comes there's a junction box here looks like where the main steering happens it is actually touching the new sway bar if you see right there the screws don't line up now or the bolts don't line up so that's fun 
Uh, so essentially what I need to do, I'm going to call it a day. All the bushings are done. Um, I was just waiting on those two little uh, bolts to put back in. But I'm going to have to email H&R and see if they have run into this or do some Googling, see if I find anyone. So just another day in uh, rebuilding this car. Unfortunately, these things happen, but such is life. Bolt-ons aren't always bolt-ons. They bolt-on and modification. Uh, the only real thing I can see is that I have to go back to the stock on um, the H&R or ECS tuning. Better take this one back because it doesn't fit. I haven't seen anyone do a front sway. I haven't looked too hard either. I just see the rear sway bar done. Uh, but maybe this is uh, one reason they don't do it. So anyways, thanks again for tuning in. Um, I uh, have signed up to go to Wookiees in the Woods. If you guys haven't uh, done that, unfortunately it is sold out. If you have, I will see you there if I get the car done. Uh, which is plenty of time to get the car done. I hope. <laughs> I just jinxed myself. Um, if you haven't checked out my Instagram channel, I'll leave that below as well. And I guess... I will get back to you as soon as I figure out what to do here. So thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. Share the video. Um, let's see if we can get 300 subs by the end of the month. Thanks a lot. Bye.